I'm going to import a point of reference, which is in this case going to be a D DXF file, right? So I'm going to say file, import, and I'm going to import a DXF file. So there's AutoCAD DXF. DXF is the open format for the DWG, right? This is not uh, turned on by default. If you want to import DXF files into Blender, it's an add-on that comes shipped with Blender. You just need to turn on the imports and exports um, add-ons, right? Okay, cool. So file, import, and where is it even? There, AutoCAD DSF. So I'm just going to go navigate to where I have this, and I'm going to bring it in. Resources here. All right. So I've just brought in this um, DXF file. This DXF file is of, uh, let me just check the file name again. This is Villa Verde, which is um, an open source uh, social housing um, set of plans and designs that were built in Chile by Elemental. And um, it is, it's an open source plan, so this will be shared with um, the resources as well. But this is an example, you can import um, a DXF and you can use that as a point of reference to model your project. So Unfortunately, Blender doesn't really know what to do with the different the different line types or the different line plot styles and stuff like that. So sometimes they're classified differently. I think this is taking the groups, not actually the plot styles. So you can see they're all just kind of arbitrarily grouped together. So for the most part, you can see it's quite messy here. I take all of these and I put them into their own file just as a point of reference. So I'm just grabbing all of this and I'm just going to say new collection and just shift it into there and collapse it. Make sure that all the uh, CAD elements are in there. So this is not going to be saved with the IFC um, in this instance. So if I wanted this to be saved in the same location, right, because I want the, um, the position information to stay the same, right, I would actually create a separate um, Blender file. So I'd open another Blender file, and I would save that, the, this, uh, the DXF into that file. So I, can, I don't have to like re-import it. I can just copy it across, um, essentially.